Hello and welcome. I'm Gargi Rawat and you're watching me on youtube.com slash NDTV. Now that's the site to go to for all the videos, all the stories from NDTV. And every day we ask you, what are the stories that you want to know more about? And we uh, give you the pick of the story, the pick the story of the day. And we offer you five choices of the stories that are the trending stories. Now, uh, the top story is about how uh, 51 Vanaras Hindu University professors are now protesting against the citizenship law. They're also demanding the release of students at at least a dozen students were picked up after a protest that took place last Thursday in Benares in uh, Varanasi. Also in UP, a daughter awaits jailed activist parents return. And this is also in Varanasi where her parents were activists and well-known uh, activists against pollution in the city. And they talk and, and they raise uh, awareness regarding pollution. They too attended a protest that had been called uh, by, uh, the, by the left parties against uh, the Citizenship Amendment Act last Thursday. And uh, that was when Section 144 was in place. However, her parents have also been arrested. We're going to talk more about that because it's very different from what the police have done in other cities in uh, Bengaluru or in Delhi. Also, people were picked up. Section 144 was there in place at the Red Fort. And as soon as people arrived there, the police picked them up. But then they took them in buses across the Yamuna and dropped them there. We spoke to various activists, Brinda Karat as well, the left leader. And in Bengaluru as well, many of the people who arrived for the protest on the day that Section 144 was in place, that's last Thursday, they were picked up. But then they were even fed by the police and later they were all let go. However, what we're seeing in UP is very, very different. Again, this was this one was uh, said to be a peaceful protest where these activists and students attended. However, all of them got picked up from there and have been thrown straight into jail with many uh, charges against them regarding agitation and violent protests. And uh, right now, also, the courts are on holiday. It is the Christmas and New Year's holiday. So you can't even apply for bail right now. So that is the situation in Varanasi. In Jamia, the probe continues 11 days after the clashes and a women's sit-in protest that is taking place near Kalandi Kunj of Delhi. This is after uh, the Jamia protest that took place. Then you have these women who are actually sitting there for the last 11 days, even at night. They're sitting at, at this uh, at Shahinbagh at Kalandi Kunj on this protest throughout the night in this cold. And this is one of the severest winters we're seeing right now in Delhi. But even then, the women have been sitting on this protest and uh, they claim they will not stop protesting till the Citizenship Amendment Act is taken back. However, this is also causing a lot of inconvenience to people because in Delhi, the routes to get to Noida are actually from Kalandi Kunj or you can uh, go through the Ashram route. And because of this sit-in protest for the last 10 days, this route has been cut off. So it's causing a lot of traffic inconvenience uh, to the citizens. Uh, that is another aspect of this entire story. And also today, you had the solar eclipse. So we're going to talk more about that, the last eclipse of the year. Now, uh, uh, in the Benares Hindu University, you have professors who've started a campaign after the arrest of at least a dozen students of the university for participating in a protest against the citizenship law. As we said, this was last Thursday when protests were called across the country and you saw the UP government uh, bringing in Section 144 across Uttar Pradesh. And that is something a lot of legal experts have actually spoken about that how can you bring in Section 144 that uh, prohibits the gathering of more than four people at a time it, across an entire state. It's meant to be used very specifically and it's meant to be used when you know there's imminent violence going to take place. So now uh, the students of BHU, take a look at some of the visuals. Uh, students of BHU uh, stood with the arrested uh, students. So you have uh, these students actually protesting about the students who've been arrested with their uh, pictures of their faces as well. And the police in Varanasi have charged the students under serious sections of the law like rioting. Uh, there was no one arrested from inside the university campus. In fact, the, this uh, this uh, letter that has been released, this document by the professors actually says, we request the government to rethink the long-term implications of the Citizens Amendment Act and hope national interests would prevail over partisan politics. We also urge the protesters not to indulge in any kind of violence and express their disagreement through democratic and peaceful means. Remember, it's a big controversy in Uttar Pradesh where... On a Thursday, you saw violence in Lucknow in which one person was killed. Then the next day on Friday, uh, after Friday prayers, a lot of protests took place that all turned violent with the police also cracking down. There's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, back and forth going around as to why they became so violent, those protests and whether the police cracked down. Then also controversy over after the, the protests, uh, violent protests on Friday, how the police in many parts, and we've reported this, uh, how the police actually went into homes and into Muslim localities 
and uh, their videos as well that NDTV has played and caused a lot of destruction. So yes, while there are also videos of the protesters, uh, you know, holding uh, some country made weapons and indulging in stone pelting against the police. So this is a big, big controversy. But as you can see in BHU, currently the protest is for the release also of these uh, students who have been arrested. Now, uh, uh, an uh, also, staying with the news of arrests in Varanasi, you have these uh, activists. This is Ekta and Ravi Shekhar who were picked up by the police during the protests which were organized by the left parties on December 19th. That is a Thursday and uh, their uh, little child, in fact, is now uh, without her parents. Look at her. She's just 14 months old and her parents have both been in jail since last Thursday. Uh, they were jailed for attending this protest against the citizenship law. In fact, 60 people arrested in Varanasi for protesting despite a ban on large gatherings. But again, these were peaceful protests. Ekta and Ravi Shekhar run an NGO called Climate Agenda that focuses on the issue of air pollution. Now, they have been arrested by the police, thrown into jail, their 14-month daughter being taken care of uh, by the relatives. And the police say that they're justified in making the arrest since the unlawful assembly of people led to tension in Varanasi. Now, remember, it, it's, it's what I said about the courts being closed, so you can't even apply for bail right now. So uh, this is something that is also creating a lot of outrage and anger over the arrest of these activists and the way they've just been thrown into jail with very serious charges against them uh, regarding violence and rioting. Now, uh, today, uh, you also, uh, you had the army chief wading into this entire uh, uh, protest across the country and sparking a controversy after he commented on uh, the citizenship uh, law protest and he spoke out and he said this is not leadership and uh, remember now the uh, army chief's position is meant to be neutral the army is neutral and apolitical and he is the army chief so he's not meant to be indulging in any sort of partisan politics and um, he said today that leadership is all about leading. When you move forward, everyone follows. But leaders uh, who uh, must lead people in the right direction. And he said, we're witnessing in a large number of university, college students, the way they are leading the masses of crowds, masses of crowds to carry out arson and violence in our city and town. This is not leadership. However, uh, several uh, uh, people have uh, criticized the army chief for actually commenting on what is a political, a civilian issue. It's the biggest story in the country right now, the protests over the Citizenship Amendment Act and the NRC. And to have uh, the army chief actually you know, echoing what many in the government have been saying against these protests and, and talking about the violence and talking about uh, you know the students being misled. Uh, so to have an army chief actually making uh, taking a position on what is going on in the country is something that is uh, highly controversial. And in fact, the Congress has been critical of him. They were spoken out as well. Uh, Congress leader Brijesh Kalapa even tweeting that army chief speaking against the CA protest is wholly against the constitutional democracy. If army chief is allowed to speak on political issues today, it also permits him to attempt an army takeover tomorrow. So that is a very exaggerated interpretation of, uh, you know, the army chief speaking. I don't, I think that day is very, very distant, if never, that we can ever imagine, a, you know, something that we've seen happen in our neighbor Pakistan ever happening in India of army chief taking over, but of the army taking over. But uh, these are the kind of reactions uh, that are coming in uh, to uh, the army chief actually wading into this entire controversy and uh, commenting on the uh, the protests that are taking place. Mamta Banerjee, uh, chief minister of Bengal, is someone who's really been leading uh, the front against the Citizenship Amendment Act among all the political leaders. This is her sixth rally that she held today in Kolkata. This is sixth rally in 10 days that she's held. And uh, she uh, hit out at the center, the BJP, and said uh, and warned them not to play with fire and she also encouraged the students to continue uh, with their protest. She said, don't indulge in violence, anyone. But uh, she said the students uh, must continue with their protests against uh, the Citizenship Amendment Act. She also accused the government of speaking in different voices on the NRC. And uh, finally, uh, today was also the last solar eclipse of the year and uh, Prime Minister also tweeting about the solar eclipse. It was more visible in South India and today was uh, it was that ring of fire uh, solar eclipse. The Prime Minister there tweeting about how he was trying to uh, you know uh, catch a glimpse of the solar eclipse. Of, it was very cloudy also in the morning and he said that he was uh, unable to do so. He said like many Indians I was also enthusiastic about it. Well uh, that's all the time we have. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.